Currently, vCore 4 builders are already sharing their impressions in the communities, and one common theme we've seen over and over again has been shock. Shock at how easy Z calibration is thanks to the deep integration between Red OS and the best probe in the market today. Stay tuned to see how it works and don't miss out on the news and giveaways. The summer just began and Retrig is running hot. Every machine in the farm is printing 24-7 and we're hiring like crazy, expanding our operations and scaling up production to meet the crazy demand for vCore 4. Just a few days ago, we received our new cable cutting machine, which promises to severely accelerate the pace of production of our pre-cut and pre-stripped wiring kits. Our team has been hard at work pumping machines through the door, and we're pleased to share that we already shipped the entirety of the early bird queue. We are now already requesting payments and shipping units from the main reservation queue. Lead times for new reservations are still long, but as you can see, we're doing everything we can to increase our output. Hang in there and thank you so much for your patience. Your support means the world to us. Meanwhile, Yantech has published the first build video of the vCore 4 kit and 24-7 printing posted a super comprehensive review of the massive 500mm vCore 4 we sent him. Links in the description for their content. We've covered a lot about the vCore 4 in the past few videos, but believe it or not, there's still so much more we haven't shown yet. Today, our main focus will be on Z calibration, one of the most crucial steps for a successful print and one that more often than not is a pain in the butt for users. vCore 4 ships by default with the Beacon Probe, the fastest, most precise and accurate Z probe on the market today. Less than a month ago, Beacon 3D made their super impressive probe even more capable by rolling out the Beacon Contact firmware update retro-compatible with all Beacon hardware out there. Beacon Contact makes Z-offset calibration essentially automatic by finding the true zero with a single, super light touch of the nozzle on your print surface. You'll never baby step or have to use a piece of paper again. And it's about time, come on, we're in 2024. When I say super light touch, I mean 20 grams of force about 50 times less force than competing products. Beacon claims that this technology is so gentle and precise, you can actually use your nozzle to mesh the entire surface, something that can come in handy if you're using non-metallic surfaces, for example. Beacon with Beacon Contact firmware is powerful stuff, but it's the refined sophistication of its integration with Red OS 2.1 that makes Z calibration on the vCore 4 look like alien technology. If you've struggled with Z calibration before, you'll truly appreciate how amazing this is. Red OS calibrates the beacon with one single click. This command runs the initial calibration, performs a quality test on the probe to ensure stable results, and it automatically calibrates and compensates for hot and thermal expansion across the entire temperature range all the way until operating temperature. An interesting side effect of this command is that if it fails, you'll know that there's something wrong with your assembly. This is such a reliable routine that Red OS developers are currently using it to create a fully automated software tool that will calibrate and compensate for gantry twists. With this implementation, swapping nozzles or build plates is a complete breeze. Swap, touch a button, and you're good to go. That's all. Since this has been a recurring question, at the moment we have a limited number of beacon probes available, so we're reserving stock to vCore 4 orders for now. We do intend to eventually start offering the beacon as a standalone product, but this may take a while. While vCore 4 gets all the buzz these days, there's still thousands of vCore 3 users out there. vCore 4 wouldn't exist without the legacy that came before it, and without the support of past customers. So we consider it our obligation to keep supporting the existing user base as much as possible. This month, 
we started shipping the first production release of the Vcore 3.1 toolhead. This toolhead has been in beta testing and continuous development since late last year, and by now we feel confident that we ironed out all the kinks and are proud to offer it as an upgrade kit for Vcore 3 users who are interested in pushing their machine performance to the next level. Much easier to assemble, sturdier than ever, and with a toolboard option for your convenience. If you are interested in this upgrade, there's a link in the description below. On the last episode, we told you we'd give away some of the new colors of the Retrig Punk Feel Patchy Filament. We have Balls Blue and Screaming Steel to give away. We appreciate all the comments we received and have replied to our favorite comments with an offer, so make sure to check your YouTube account to see if you have a prize to claim. If you've been dreaming of owning your own CNC machine, you should know that we just started a summer sale on the Retrig Stronghold 1. You can get up to 25% off on your kit, but hurry, because the promotion is limited to available stock and will only run until the end of July. We also have a couple of end mill starter kits for wood and for aluminium to give away on the next episode of Retrig TV to Stronghold 1 owners. So this is the best time ever to get your hands on a Stronghold machine. Links in the description. And that's it for today. Apart from the Stronghold 1, our summer sale also includes discounts of up to 50% on items like the Dragonfly Hot End, the LGX Lite 2 Extruder and the Super Pinda Probe. So take a look at these deals while they're still stock Links in the description below. We've also been doing tests with a new punk fill color we're calling Rancid Red, which is coming out soon. Behind the scenes, we continue development of a universal multi-material upgrade module, which will be compatible with the Vcore 4, along with many other printers. Here's a first peek at how the module may look like. Make sure to subscribe to stay on top of all the news and updates. And until next time, my name is Sonat, and this has been Retrig TV.